Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back to Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations, everybody. Oh man, oh this is probably going to be a long episode today. Okay. But uh, there's really no good way to break it up. Sure. That's okay. the main thing. That's fine. So we're on Bridge to the Turnabout <sighs> Part Four Two Trial. Dahlia Dahl just gave us the creepy face. Yep. Wouldn't swipe right on Tinder for that. <laughs> February tenth, one o six p.m. District Court Courtroom Number Seven. They had to put a be continued there because of this. Yeah. Otherwise, it would be like, this is the longest trial ever. That's true. <laughs> now then, let's continue where we left off, shall we? Well, witness? Yes. How can I help you, Judge? <laughs> Mr. Judge. I'm never... He's not Mr. for Dahlia. He totally Mr. is. Judge. Mr. Judge. She's like doing Mr. the sarcastic judge. where she's used to speak. Mr. Judge. I just think it's funnier if she says Judge. Like she doesn't have a care in the world. Judge. Uh, I feel like you're kind of ruining judge. it a little bit. <laughs> well, it seems that if we're to learn the truth, we'll need to hear your testimony. I have no problem with that. But when you've seen what I have, sometimes the truth is better left unknown. In any case, let's hear your testimony. Who has the most ridiculous amount of power that they can channel Dahlia for, like, a full day? <laughs> Normally, Maya's like, oh, I'm running out of energy. That was it's more in the like first... like, an hour. That was more in the first game where she, she was less trained. She hasn't channeled someone for, like, a long period of time like this, though, before. It's not like she was in our, like, in the Wright and Company law offices, like, okay, now I shall channel this person! And then, like, she's walking around. She's been as training at Curry Village, though, in between the first and second games, and she's a lot better. Oh, I since forgot then. about that. She's like, hey! And, like, comes back. <laughs> Tell us about the plan that was carried out that night. The plan. Cool. The whole plan began with my death. Stupid plan hatched by Morgan Fay to install her own daughter as the next master. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of sad. But for it to work, Maya Fay would first have to die. The idea for, was for me to kill Maya and then have the blame pinned on Iris, which would make sense because they look similar. The plan went wrong, but it seems to have succeeded anyway. So, so that means you really are. Wait a minute! Did you just say the plan was to kill Maya Faye? Yeah. You have a problem with that? Don't give us that nonsense! There's no way that- Watch yourself, trite. You're dealing with a murderer. If you've got a problem, solve it during cross-examination. That's my rule. Mr. Godot is correct. And by the way, that's my rule as well. To kill Maya? Could it be true? It absolutely could be true. Probably they were like, gotta kill Maya, and then they're like, uh, uh, kill Misty Faye. It's <laughs> fine. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> the plan. And now we get the epic cross examination music. Yeah. You were executed last month, correct? Tell us about yes, that. Yes, I was hanged. It wasn't exactly pleasant. How did you manage to discuss the plan? When did you talk with Morgan Faye? We were both in the same confinement. No. Last year she was transferred to the same detention center as her, okay. Since I was on death row and she was my mother, it was actually pretty easy to meet with her. I see. Yeah, so you that's... both were terrible criminals. <laughs> so that's when you discussed the plan. Huh. Are you crazy? At first that woman was planning to kill me as well, even though I'm her own daughter. All to make Pearl Fay the master of Corain? She's a cold, twisted woman. She thought she could finally regain her lost honor. There, we're, we're like, look, it's, it's your, your honor! Honor! <laughs> honor. <laughs> the honor she lost when her younger sister Misty took her place as the master. Ever since that day, she's been working on this plan. Hmm, a plan, huh? I can appreciate she's just even more evil than before in her death. <laughs> Well, getting hanged can't have improved her mental sure. state a lot. You're talking about Pearl Faye, is that correct? By the way, is Pearl just sitting in the audience like, la di da di da di da <laughs> <laughs> Yes, though at first she had high hopes for the two of us. You and your twin sister, Iris? 
That's correct. Fortunately, neither of us had much spiritual power. That's why we were abandoned by her, along with our father. Uh, abandoned? The only person I ever really cared about in life was myself. Well, that explains a lot! <laughs> Narcissistic? <laughs> my sister was a nuisance, so I convinced my father to leave her at the old temple. You're twins! <laughs> No oh, offense. Man. She is the worst. She's terrible. I think she has she surpassed Manfred von Karma in terms of like this is the worst. Manfred von Karma is more annoying because he keeps snapping back at you like you can't do this. You don't have any proof. This, this girl's just like a terrible person. Him, it was like my perfect record. No. <laughs> Taser. <laughs> Taser. <laughs> yeah. Miss Spotty. Like Dahlia has wrecked. I think here's the thing. Man for Von Karma has wrecked so much havoc with just us. Probably with other people too, but we hadn't seen much. Mm -hmm. Dolly's just like, I am the worst bleep in existence and <laughs> I have wrecked everyone's lives. Yep. <laughs> wow, so Dahlia was the one who was like, get, get rid of Iris and their dad's like, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you mean Iris? Yes, my father remarried a woman who also had a daughter. The less children you have, the more money there is to go around, right? And on top of that, my father had absolutely no interest in children in general. Which is why he married someone with another. <laughs> he, yeah. must, he must have really had the hots for Miss Hawthorne. Must have. <laughs> How horrible. The real horrible one was that woman. The bitter, vengeful woman. It was her stubbornness that gave birth to that child, Pearl Fay. Pearl, maybe you should, like, run out of here and leave. <laughs> she might kill you. She was born with an abundance of spiritual power, unfortunately for her. Morgan Fay heaped all of her broken hopes and dreams on that poor child's back. At least Dahlia seems to have a little sympathy for Pearl. Yeah. Well, they are siblings, technically. I think half siblings, but yeah. yeah. Stepsisters. <laughs> all because of her pathetic dreams of having her bloodline become the main family. But for it to work, she Hold to it. die. <laughs> I need you to Maya die. would have to die? But why? For our bloodline to succeed as the main family, thus making Pearl the new master. The remaining descendants of the current master had to be taken care of. Objection. But Pearls would never agree to a plan like that. She adores Maya. How sad. You still don't get it, do you? What Pearl wanted had nothing to do with it. Morgan didn't care one bit about Pearl. The only thing she cared about was the position of the master. That's all. <laughs> Poor Pearl. The, that's ridiculous. No, it's not. She was willing to sacrifice anything and anyone to achieve her goal. So, okay. So, Morgan didn't even want to be the master because she knew she never would because of her yeah. lack of spiritual power. This is like... She literally is just like, I want my daughter to be good even though I don't care about her. This no, is... this is literally, like... Tiger mom to the extreme. Tiger mom? <laughs> That's like a term that they. Uh, this sounds terrible. Um, for like an Asian parent with their That's child. Really no, I. Racist. No, it's true though. There's a lot of people that I've heard say that. I thought that was just like. It's, it's where it's parenting. where they're so, uh, like they're wanting their kid. Let's say like. A, there's a parent that's like, I want my kid to be a doctor. They're gonna, like, push for that, and they're gonna only put in training for that. They'll probably get it, but there's a lot sacrificed in it to, to make it happen. <laughs> that is... I know! I know, I know that you're not racist, but that term tiger mom is really yeah, racist. Yeah, I know. <laughs> wow. I know, but that's kind of what Morgan is here. <laughs> Just I a guess. bit. At first I'm like, wait, are you calling her a cougar? Because that's not what she is. But no. Rawr! <laughs> <laughs> the life of her daughter, and naturally the life of Maya Faye as well. How could anyone do that? Someone who's messed up. Yeah. Her. Morgan is very messed up. Here's the thing, though. Like, Dahlia, obviously she's terrible. But it kind of makes sense, the circumstances, why she turned out the way she did. She's the worst mom in existence, pretty She much. has one of the worst dads she in existence. She has one of the worst dads. Her stepsister seemed okay, but she, like, she was kind of like that spoiled brat who got anything she wanted. Where she's like, I don't want my twin sister. Just drop her off at the temple. And he's like, okay. I didn't so, like her anyway. I didn't like her anyway. So he it's drops more... them both off. <laughs> that would have been better. That would have been, no, that would have been worse. I think Iris would have died before age 10. <laughs> 
but... Bikini went to mur jail for murdering others, and Dahlia's just like, I own I'll this mountain, Whoa! <laughs> you, you were going to kill Maya? Pearl didn't need to know anything about it. All she had to do was follow the instructions in the letter and channel me. Is that who's channeling her right now? Maybe. Then I would have to simply use her body and finish the job. In any case, I'm already dead and there's nothing any of you can do to me. Uh, At least she's already dead. So the plan was to blame the crime on your younger sister. On Sister Iris of Hazakura Temple. She and I look absolutely identical. No one can tell us apart. Except when you had red hair. <laughs> then people could tell you apart. If someone were to witness me killing Maya, naturally they would think it was Iris that had done it. And the witness in this case was the head nun, Sister Bikini. I never would have guessed she was going to return to Hazakura Temple that night. But she wound up seeing Iris's crime anyway. But why did you want to pin the murder on Iris in the first place? She betrayed me! She's your twin sister, isn't she? Twin sister? Don't make me laugh. She's nothing but a backstabber. I couldn't care less about her. Backstabber? You just don't understand. You never will. Anyway. I mean, I guess you'd never really understand siblings. Hmm. Our mom still doesn't understand us at all. <laughs> <laughs> you think that the plan was a success? You heard me. Just as that woman had hoped. Maya Faye's dead. Now the title of the master will pass on to Pearl Faye. I think maybe Maya's actually dead. Th that's absurd! M Maya is just... She's just trapped. Trapped inside the sacred cavern. They could've... Okay, but here's the thing. Because they switched... Not switched bodies, but like switched places because they're twins, it could've been like, <laughs> here you go, Maya! Stabs her, throws her in the cavern, lets her mm -hmm. bleed to death, and then she's just like... Lock, 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 or puts one on, and then Iris is like, guess I have to put on more. <laughs> you can't let this crazy psycho escape. Yeah. Really? You're as foolishly optimistic as ever, aren't you, my darling Feeny? Do you want to know the truth? Ever since we've met, I've despised you. We already knew that. You're snivel sniveling. Sniveling. Not snivel. Snivel would be spelled differently. You're sniveling naive naivet? Naivety. Naivety? I've never heard that word before. Really? Is it like naive, but like yeah. fancier? It's naive, but instead of an adjective, it's a noun. Oh. That's so weird. I've never heard that word. Ugh. You're sniveling na naivety. 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 And your pathetic faith in other people. This is really ruining Dahlia's motive. Right? Dahlia's like, I, I, I can't talk. I'm jet lagged. I'm dead. <laughs> it's the I ultimate lost, jet lag. I lost all my speech when I died. It's been a while. I just want to know one thing. What did you personally think of Morgan Faye's plan? Stupid. I told you already, didn't I? It was a stupid plan. I was right. It had no point, no value, other than fulfilling her own greedy desires. Yes. It was certainly nothing to be proud of. If that's how you feel, why did you help her carry it out? Why would you do it? Why would you kill Maya? You may not understand it, being the kind and gentle soul that you are. You may not be able to appreciate why someone like me would help a woman like that. So then tell me, why? Isn't it obvious? I'm not like that woman. I only act in my own self-interest. The reason I helped her was... For myself. For my own personal satisfaction. What did you say? So this woman, Dahlia Hawthorne... She had her own reason for wanting Maya dead? I mean... Wait... I wonder if she was like... I bet they're dating. How about I kill Phoenix Wright's new girlfriend so he can just suffer for all of eternity? Maybe. <laughs> Do you understand why I would kill my thing now? What my, what goal, my goal was? was? Obviously, it's because you were helping Morgan Fay. Helping? Don't make me laugh. From the day I was born to the day I died, I never helped anyone. That's not something to brag about. <laughs> yeah. I lived for myself, and in the end, I died for myself. 
thought that was obvious. So she wasn't actually cooperating with Morgan. She was just like, eh, I'll just kill and be obnoxious. She was just using Morgan and her plan so she could accomplish her own goal. <sighs> All I wanted to do was kill Maya Faye. That was the only way I could think of to get revenge. Revenge? It looks like I have no choice but to present that piece of evidence. That piece. I can't believe it! She meant to kill Maya. I've gotta keep a cool head. And I need to get more information out of her. Also, please come back, Gumshoe, and tell us, like, We opened the place and the Maya's alive and she's just a... You're just a lie, lie face! <laughs> it's the only way to understand this plan and what she was after as well. The whole plan began with my stupid death! <laughs> It wasn't that stupid. So you're saying it's because she thought we were dating? I mean, that's a theory, not fact. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I said you think. <laughs> oh wait, I, we don't have Phoenix's profile anymore. Because we're playing as Phoenix instead of Edgeworth. Maybe... Oh, that was that scrapped my other idea was maybe she wanted to kill us. And she was <laughs> like, you'll do! <laughs> I just wanted to kill somebody! <laughs> My cat who like he'll play with his toy and he's just like die 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 and then the minute it stops moving he's like I'm bored and it <laughs> runs away <laughs> um what was her goal why would she kill Maya I mean she didn't make the cover of all cold magazine <laughs> my stupid sister but that would be more like oh I would kill my sister not <laughs> close <that>. enough <laughs> close enough Maya Iris they're practically the same person um <laughs> <laughs> They're both nice. Maybe it was because... <laughs> she just gotta get that cash! She, she could sell this for a while. Honestly, I would believe you if you said that. I would. I'm dead, but I still need cash now! Yeah. She was the one who was like, Okay, we're gonna fake my kidnapping so we get the moolah. And then, <laughs> and then we... <laughs> yep, that's what she said. <laughs> In that voice, too. Um, I don't know why we're making her like... A street thug. Like, yo, gotta get that moolah, yo. <laughs> I don't know. Cause, cause Dahlia, like, if Dahlia was in the case with the tiger, <laughs> like, they would be in cahoots. 100%. But she'd be using him, though. Oh, like, yeah. He, and but, he'd point the using But her. the other chick, um, that v I'm now- Viola. Viola. He, she, they were using each other. It was one of those weird, like, cooperative, backstabbing friendship relationship things where it's like, <laughs> I'll get you this thing- but you have to pay all my medical bills. And he's like, okay, I'll get you that thing, but then you get to help me run the tender lending, yo! <laughs> <laughs> like, where it's like a mutual back and forth backstab, if that makes any I'll, sense. Let's play a game my family likes to call, I'll help you out if you do something, something for, for me! me. <laughs> That's from Arrested Development. You really don't know, do you? I don't think I do. Alright. Mia? Oh! Could it be oh. that your actual goal had nothing to do with Maya Faye herself? That makes more sense. Never mind, now I understand. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> As I said, none of you have the power to punish me anymore. Because I'm already dead. Well, I have the same problem, you see. You can't punish the dead. And you can't take revenge against them, either. Y you wanted to take revenge on someone? That makes way more sense now. I was sentenced... Sentenced... Sentenced to death to die because of that woman. Mia Fey. Mia I somehow Faye. knew this was it. I wanted to send her a message. It was at her hands that I suffered my first humiliation. I wanted her to feel the same pain she made me feel. Sadly, when I realized revenge was impossible, I gave up. And the reason it was impossible? Was it perhaps because Mia Fey had already died? Yes. And I realized, there's only one way to take revenge against the dead. Uh, and how do you do that? Even when the body dies, the spirit, the ego, it lives on forever. I wanted to take away the person that Mia Fey loved most. I wanted to kill her with my own hands. That would be one and the only way I could take my revenge against Mia Fey. That was the reason I helped out with the woman's plants. Just for that? For that you would kill Maya? Your goal was no different than that of Morgan Fay. I mean, actually, Dahlia and Von Karma are pretty similar. It's like, I had one blow to my perfection. Now I must kill, kill everyone. everyone. <laughs> well, he only killed one person. She also he was just... like, I'll kill, but I'll kill yeah. him. Yeah. 
As they say, the apple doesn't fall far, far from the tree. <laughs> fall far far. What a cruel plan. Cruel, cold, and heartless. Hm. Don't waste your time preaching to the dead. I've already told you there's not a thing you can do to me. What if she's actually not dead? <laughs> and she was just like, oh yeah, Pearl, you channel this person. She's like, I can't channel! It's just because she's alive. <laughs> and they're like, um, how come you didn't get sentenced? <sighs> that night... At about 9.30 p.m., I materialized into this world. So she says. I quickly pinned my hair up and put on a demon warding hood. And my cutest face. <laughs> then I picked up the staff that was by my side and left Hazakura Temple. So, it was at least Donum who channeled her after all. What? How would that make sense? She wasn't dead yet! At least Donum... At least oh, Donum channeled Dahlia. But that doesn't make any sense with the... thing. Also, why would she do that? This is Misty Faye, why would she be like, eh, Sure, we can kill my daughter, it's no big deal. Hmm. How would that make sense? The plot thickens. This is stupid. Maybe it's because you don't know the reason yet, and yeah, you just are like, well, still. I don't care, it's dumb. That ridiculous head nun never noticed a thing. Also, we didn't. <laughs> She left Maya Fey at the inner temple, and wobbled back, clutching her poor old back. Wh what did you do then? That kid was easier to handle than I had hoped. I caught up with her in front of the stone lantern. Then I took out the dagger I got from the storeroom and... Well, that's unfortunate. Is she really dead? I hope not. S so then you... you... you're saying you... Stabbed Maya? It's strange, but I don't have a clear memory of what happened after that. What does that mean? No clear memory? Well, because probably at least Donum was like, Bleh. I, <laughs> uh, like, no, I bet this is what happened. Channeled her, and she was like, oh, I'm coming back to take over. And she's like, oh, ha, I'm going to go back and fix my back. Oh. And then, um, she go takes Maya out, stabs her, and then right after the stabbing, she changes back into Elise Stone. I'm like, whoa, this is weird. And then Maya takes her down, too. But they both got stabbed. If and then the their case. bodies material. Oh, uh, vaporized. <laughs> this isn't a video game. Actually, this is a video game. <laughs> that is! <laughs> I don't know. I think... I think I was stabbed. You were stabbed? Oh, I wonder if... Wait... When somebody gets hurt and you're channeling, do they immediately go back to their previous state? If they die, they will immediately revert back to the channeler. So, like, if, but, Mist if but, Misty Faye channeled Dahlia and then someone Maya, Maya stabbed, stabbed Dahlia and it killed her instantly, she would instantly turn back into uh, Misty Faye. Which would explain why Maya's like, what the heck? Like, with the weird face. Yeah. At the last minute, Maya Faye must have stabbed me, I'm sure of it. That's not like her at all. Maya wouldn't stab a french fry with a plastic fork. Anyway, I suddenly lost consciousness. But before I did, I scrawled her name on the lantern. Just as I was passing out, I wrote Maya behind my back. I had hoped it would cast suspicion on her. I can't believe she was thinking of that until the bitter end. That's where my memory temporarily stops. It, it stops? I don't have any memory of the actual- I don't have any memory of actually killing Maya Fey with my own two hands. My very last memory was... Maya's terror-filled eyes. When I woke up after that, I was in the sacred cavern surrounded by darkness. You were in the sacred cavern? Maybe Maya just was so good at fighting that- <laughs> After the surprised face, she immediately stabbed Dahlia, dragged her body into the sacred cavern, was like, You are staying in here! And locked her up. And then Maya disappeared through the mountains. And... It's an island. <laughs> it's a mount... It uh, disappeared into the island where she would... I don't know. So she's still hiding maybe, out there? No, maybe Maya... Okay, this could be totally what the game does. It could be Maya disappears, like her mom, for millions oh. of years. Like, not hmm. millions of years, but it could be that same pattern where she's like, okay, no one can find me. Because people are trying to kill me. Because people are trying to kill me. Hmm, interesting. 
The entrance was sealed with one of those trick locks. Somehow I had been trapped in there. But how did you wind up in there? I'd like to know that myself. Probably Iris. Either Maya or Iris shoved her in there. Iris was probably like, you know what? I backstabbed you once, I'm backstabbing you again! But here's the thing. There. Misty Fade channeled Dahlia. Somehow Misty Fade's body ended up back on the Hesekura Temple. Well, which means... Maybe... And she was also dead, which means Dahlia was no longer inhabiting her body. So... But then There's Dahlia woke here. up in the sacred cavern. Yeah. So someone else channeled her from within the cavern, probably. Great. She's not gonna be, like, alive all of a sudden. So maybe that whole thing happened, and then Maya was like... But how would Maya know to shove her across the bridge at that angle? Maya's not smart. <laughs> Maya's Ouch. like me. She would not know how physics work. So maybe... I think Pearl's involved in this. Okay. I think Pearl... Not that... Pearl went missing for a while. When did we find Pearl? Did we find her before the sacred cavern was opened? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. As maybe, soon as we fixed the bridge, we found her. Maybe in the letter, Pearl saw the, okay, push the person across, and Pearl did that, and Maya was the one in the sacred cavern still. That could work. Interesting. Anyway, I was worried. I didn't know whether or not Maya Faye was dead, and I swore I wouldn't return to the underworld until I knew I had killed her myself. Hmm. For a ghost, you're one tough cookie. I wanted to get out of there and make sure she was dead. But... I couldn't do it. I couldn't get out. The trick lock stopped you, huh? I didn't know how to remove it. So then you're saying... You were actually confined against your will inside this sacred cavern? Yes! I wanted to get rid of that annoying lock as soon as possible. But it wasn't easy. I kept getting interrupted while I was working on it. Interrupted? It was early in the morning. Someone came into the training hall. What? Who? Probably Pearl. Could it have been Maya? I thought the same thing, but I couldn't see. What? Why not? If someone had spotted me, I would have lost my chance to take revenge. So I made sure to hide myself well at the back of the sacred cavern. That morning, only two people could have gone into the training hall. Maya and, and Pearl. Pearls. Pearls went there to cover the hanging scroll and gravy. Sure did. Waste of gravy, if you ask me. Hell yeah. <laughs> Still, I finally managed to remove the lock. But... I was too late. What do you mean by that? The files had already started- Flies. Oh, yup. Flies had already started to gather. The bridge had been fixed and their poli uh, the police had started their investigation, correct? Naturally, I couldn't go out. So instead, I returned to the cavern and put the lock back on myself. I realized I wouldn't get a chance to see Maya's corpse as I had hoped. But just then, Lady Luck showed up. Lady Luck? After the big earthquake, she showed up all by herself. The real Iris? She said she'd come to make sure the sacred cavern was alright. Stupid girl. I came out from the sacred cavern and got a feel for the situation. Yeah, that was dumb, Iris. And I locked her away in my place. So she's still in there. The real Iris is still in there, apparently. I had finally learned exactly what had happened. It was then that I learned that the plan had actually succeeded. What do you mean your plan had succeeded? I had misunderstood one thing, you see. That night, the one that had summoned me. I had assumed that it was Pearl Fay. W well, of course you would have assumed that. It was written in the instructions. But I was wrong. The person that had actually called my spirit back was... Misty Fay, the picture book author. Wh what? Well, that's really the only possibility, isn't it? After I lost consciousness in the garden, it was her body that was left lying there. Maya Fay, 
I wasn't able to kill her with my own hands after all. But even so, I made her commit the most vile sin a human can commit. And that is... Matricide? Yep. Oh, matricide. The sin of killing her own mother. Uh... No way! I mean, she didn't know. Oh, order! Order in the court! What is the meaning of this? It's true that I was the one who attacked Maya Fey. But even so, the murderer who actually snuffed out Misty Fey's life was none other than your darling little Maya. R ridiculous! That's nonsense. Are you sure about that? Just think about it. There's even evidence supporting these facts, isn't there? What? What do you mean? What? What is this so-called evidence? The fact that Maya Fey has disappeared is evidence enough, isn't it? Huh? The idea that she's still in the Sacred Cavern is just ridiculous. She wasn't able to escape from the Inner Temple, that much is obvious. In that case, there's only one place she could be. W where Do I have to spell it out? The bottom of the Eagle River. Where else? Uh, Eagle River? Maya Faye killed her long-lost mother. Can you imagine the guilt she must have felt when she realized that? She wouldn't have realized it, though. That's why she threw herself into Eagle River. Most bodies that wind up in there are lost forever. That would be really sad if that's what happens, because Maya doesn't even know that it's her mom. Right. So, what do you have to say now, Feeny? Uh... Uh... Thank you, phone. <gasps> Wait, is this Godot's cell phone? It should be. Oops. Sorry. That's my phone. And my own personal ringtone. What kind of ringtone is that? <laughs> Godot here. Okay, thanks. What? Wha was it something important? Oh yeah, my coffee, coffee? delivery guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they just finished removing the locks from the sacred cavern. That's great! What about Maya? Not in there. There was a woman in the cave. Was it Maya Faye? It was the accused. Sister Iris. Huh? Don't look so surprised. I locked her in there yesterday. I just finished telling you that. So, what about Maya? Where is she? There was no one else found inside the sacred cavern. N no, it can't be. I told you, didn't I? She's dead. No! He his background thing should be him on his desk, not him like eh, I'm fine. I'm standing up normally. Yeah. <laughs> Sprite limitations. <sighs> it seems that this case has come to an end, a tragic end. Always for Phoenix, right? Apparently. Sadly, it appears the killer of Elise Donum, also known as Misty Fay, <gasps> was her own daughter, Maya Fay. Come on. Von Karma, can you burst through here and be like, HOLD IT! And then, like, come in with the evidence and be like, WAIT, I'VE GOT THIS THING! Even though I'm jet-lagged. Overcome with guilt for what she had done, Maya Fey jumped to her death into the raging waters of the Eagle River. It can't be. Ha. <laughs> what are you laughing about?! This is no time to laugh and drink coffee! Trite. Have you ever heard this one? Once you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains must be the truth. No matter how improbable it may seem. Wh what is that supposed to mean, Prosecutor Godot? I still think she ran off. According to this witness, Maya Fey threw herself into the Eagle River. Yes. Oops. However, is that really the truth? Yeah, exactly. Remember, this woman testified earlier that the bridge was already on fire when the murder was taking place in the garden. Which means if Maya Fey had thrown herself into the river, it must have been from the inner temple side near the bridge. That's right. That's where she jumped from. But that's where rocks are. But that's impossible. It's impossible to jump into the river from there. What? What? Don't get your panties all twisted up trite. 
Just relax and think through the whole thing again. Because of the rocks, we remember this. So it's impossible? Maya couldn't have thrown herself into Eagle River? Yeah, she would have thrown herself on the rocks. Well, Mr. Wright, Miss Hawthorne claims Miss Faye threw herself into the river from the inner temple side. Do you have any evidence that refutes this claim? Here's the thing! Why would anyone believe anything she said if she's like a triple threat? <laughs> triple murderer! <laughs> she can't be trusted! That's it? That's your answer? Yep. Ha! The only one that should be thrown into a river is you. I already threw myself! Ugh! But then again, even if you did, you wouldn't reach the river, would you? Huh? What's that? I wouldn't reach it? Don't get your panties all twisted up. I don't wear panties! I'm a dude! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's cause of the rocks. It's impossible to jump into the Eagle River from the Inner Temple side. No one knows that better than this witness! What did you say? Eleven years ago, you jumped into the very same river. Just take a look at this overhead map. As you can see, below the cliff on the inner temple side is a big rock shell. Oh! Oh! You, you're right! She wouldn't have reached the river if she had jumped off from there. In other words, if she had jumped, we should be able to see her body in this photo. <laughs> ha! So you finally figured it out. You... No! Oh, order! Order! You... You're just playing with me! Maya Faye's body's at the bottom of the Eagle River! There's nowhere else she could possibly be hiding! Miss Hawthorne, have you ever heard this one before? Once you eliminate the impossible, <laughs> whatever remains must be the truth. Yes, just a few minutes ago. Maya Faye wasn't inside the Sacred Cavern. We now know that she didn't throw herself into the Eagle River. Correct. That eliminates all the most likely possibilities. Now, although it seems improbable, there's still one other place she could be. Frozen in Wh the water? What? What is this one possibility you are talking about? That's obviously a bluff! So where's her dead body then? She's in the frozen waterfall. Finally! I think the pieces are falling into place. Still chanting for 36 hours. Normally, the living have no way to punish the dead. But I think there's a way to give Adalia Hawthorne the ultimate punishment. Shall I tell you, Miss Hawthorne? Shall I tell you where Maya Whoa. is this very instant? Maya is in her temple, has a her temple this very courtroom. I wonder if she's in this very courtroom and she's channeling her. I think that'd be so rad. <laughs> so rad. So, so rad. So rad, bro. <laughs> I really want to pick that, if nothing else. Um, oh, let's do the stupid one yeah. first. <laughs> the Encore Temple! It's already been proven that she isn't in, on the Inner Temple side. So that means she must be somewhere in Hazakura Temple. She's at the toilet for a really long time. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, get her a doctor. She's been there for that long. <laughs> Mr. Wright, let me ask the question that I'm sure is on everyone's minds. The bridge was already on fire when the murder took place, correct? Just so you know, my heart is also on fire and it aches from your stupidity. That would be a great song! <laughs> <laughs> so the my impossibility of Maya Faye escaping from the Inner Temple side has already been adequately proven, has it not? Y yikes Because my intuition was wrong. <laughs> well... Intuition? <laughs> Tr truthiness has no place here. Use your brain, not your gut, to find the real truth, Trite. That's obviously a bluff! I really hope it's Maya Chandler. The Inner Temple was cut off from the outside world on the night of the crime. So in other words, Maya's still there. I think he's, <laughs> he's like, nope. <laughs> Mr. Wright, let me ask a question that I'm sure is on everyone's minds. I think it's Are you high? <laughs> the police scoured the Inner Temple from top to bottom, correct? You bet. Detective Gumshoe had his nose to the ground and sniffed around everywhere. <laughs> and Missile was there, too. Oh, Missile. <laughs> then in the fact that Maya is not in the Inner Temple has already been adequately proven, has it not? Yikes! Oh, boy. This again. Oh, I'm so happy that this is the case. There's only one possibility left. Namely, she's right here in this very courtroom. What? But Maya Faye is here? You're saying she's in my courtroom? Yeah, I think she's channeling her. Dahlia Hawthorne, I seem to recall that you said... 
I had misunderstood one thing, you see. So what? But I think there's one more thing you misunderstood. What do you mean? Tell me something. At this very moment, who is channeling Dahlia Hawthorne? I was right! Why, that- that's obvious! It's Pearl Fay! This pathetic little sniveling runt! Pearl's You're in the wrong. courtroom. Pearl's tried, but she couldn't do it. I've never failed at channeling someone. This is the first time it's happened. Isn't there any explanation for why you couldn't channel a spirit? It could have happened if someone else was already channeling the same spirit. That's what I wondered this whole time! Someone called me before Pearl did, but who? Pearl's even tried again on the day after the crime, but she couldn't do it. What could that mean? I think the truth is becoming clearer to you right about now, am I correct? Ah! It wasn't Pearl's that channeled you. There was someone else who'd called you before she could. Who else would it be? Larry. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not who! How can I come this far and still not get it? <laughs> the pearls couldn't channel her and Maya disappeared. It's only one possible answer. Mr. Wright, you can mumble to yourself like a wino on your own time. Okay. <laughs> Please, give me just one more chance. <laughs> it wasn't Pearls, it was Maya! This is an easy one. Pearls couldn't do it, and Misty Faye is gone. There's only one possibility left. Come on already. I can't stand the tension. Dahlia Hawthorne, the person channeling you right now must be Maya Faye. What? What? Don't let her kill herself. <laughs> oh my gosh, she but, might. But how could that be? Remember that this witness, Dahlia Hawthorne, remember what she said about her goal. She said that her goal was to kill Maya Fey. Yes, that's right. But if Maya channeled the spirit of someone that was trying to kill her... Ha! <laughs> well, Gramps, what would happen? C could it be? It looks like you finally understand, Your Honor. Well, I don't. What are you going on about? What I'm going on about is the reason Maya channeled you. And there's only one reason. To protect herself from you. To protect herself? From me? Yes. On the night of the crime, you were the only- you were only interested in one thing. Killing Maya Fey. <laughs> Killing Maya Fey! <laughs> it's a chant. Killing Maya Fey! Killing Maya Fey! Killing Maya Fey! The path to the inner temple was closed off and there was nowhere for her to run. So then the problem became, where would be the safest place to hide? Uh, uh, you mean, that's when she channeled me? All along you thought that you had been channeled by pearls. That's why it never occurred to you that Maya's hiding place was you. No. No. DON'T SAY THAT! <laughs> You're saying that I was played for a fool by that little whelp? I like how she looks like she's just sweat so much. <laughs> like she went on the biggest run. Very disheveled. She's like, <sighs> Maya Faye killed herself, isn't it obvious? Sorry, but no. It would have been impossible for her to jump into the Eagle River. This was the only avenue of escape open to Maya. Maya's not that smart. How did she think of this? The only way that Maya could disappear from the Inner Temple... I don't believe you. A stupid little girl like that who's never been out in the real world. She could never have come up with a plan like that. Who could have ever given her such a brilliant idea? Well... Me, of course. Oh, oh, wait! Mia! Why was Pearl next to us the whole time? She's like, <laughs> She's I can't see! Short. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Mia Faye! It's, it's been a well, long time. I'm not Mia. <laughs> <laughs> no, do <to> the honors! <laughs> no, yeah. I'm not. It's been a long time, Dahlia Hawthorne. I'd, I'd pick up the crazy on uh, Dahlia's voice, like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill myself, though. Oh, okay. With my voice. So it's true. It was you. Yes. Ha! You're something else. But what? What are you doing here? That hair. It's pearls, right? Tell me something, Dahlia. I want you to think back to that night one more time. You would just... No, oh, I thought that was Maya. <laughs> no, it's not Maya either. It's Mia saying all that.
Sorry. Just checking to make sure everything's still recording. <laughs> you had curious. just cornered Maya in the Inner Temple's garden. And then, in the final moments of the fight, you lost consciousness. I was stabbed! By Maya Fey! Actually, Maya lost consciousness at the same time as you. She did? Not terribly surprising since she was about to be killed. When she woke up, she was in the training hall. That's when Maya decided she needed help, so she channeled me. She explained in a memo the situation I was in. She was in. Or that I, I'm dead. She explained in a memo that uh, the situation she was in. She asked me what I thought I should do. Or she should do, not I. I'm dead! <laughs> she did that? I can't believe it! Of course, I didn't have all the details, but one thing was perfectly clear. And that was? I knew that you couldn't be allowed to wander free. Free? What do you mean? It was a race against time, so I wrote down two things that Maya had to do. Channel Dahlia Hawthorne as soon as possible. And lock herself in the sacred cavern until help arrived. So it was Maya who put that lock on there. That explains why no one could open it. Yes, but why did you order her to do those two things? If she hadn't done it... Dahlia Hawthorne would have been channeled by someone else. By one Pearl Fay. Pearls? Yeah, because Pearls was like, I can't do this thing! Let me try it one more time! <laughs> and and also, like, Pearls uh... was trapped in the sacred, uh, the inner temple with Maya. It was basically just the two of them. Oh. Yes, Pearl didn't properly understand the plan. So all she was trying to do was follow her mother Morgan Fay's instructions. Thank you, Mia! Mia, you have saved this all! <laughs> If she had succeeded in channeling Dahlia Hawthorne's spirit, things would have turned out very badly, to put it mildly. So that's how it was. Dahlia Hawthorne would have used the body of Pearl Fay to kill Maya at all costs. Y yes, it certainly sounds like that was the intent all along. How dare you! Well, forget this! Why not just admit it, Dahlia Hawthorne? Your little plan was nothing but a big failure. Yes. Another failure to add to the pile of shame, wouldn't you say? What? What do you mean by another? Think about it, Dahlia. Remember all your past crimes? Not a single one of them was a success. They all ended in failure. What? How dare you? Eleven years ago... Eleven years ago, you tried this the stupid fake kidnapping, fake kidnapping. Your very first crime. Jumped off the bridge, and then that didn't work. You got your hands on a two million dollar diamond, but... After Terry Falls escaped and met, went to meet with Valerie Hawthorne, the truth was exposed. Shut your mouth! That wasn't my fault! It was because of that stupid oath of a prisoner and that weakling of a policeman! Police woman! <laughs> Police woman! Ouch, that's really coming! <laughs> and she's not even a real woman, she's more like a man! <laughs> they are even real bears! <laughs> and then, one year later, you tried to kill me. Well, I'm still alive, but... You wound up killing someone else. Everyone learned what a terrible person you were, and as a result, you were sentenced to death. It's one stupid move after another for you, but it's no longer funny. You! Wipe that smug, happy-go-lucky smile off your face! And now this. You've messed up again. You let Maya Fey escape, even though she was right there in front of you. <sighs> Mia Fey! Mia Fey! Mia Fey! You, you spinster! I was supposed to kill Mia Fey like I swore I would. And if only you had gotten this spiky haired jerk the guilty verdict, I wouldn't have been hanged to death. True. But I think you finally understand, Dahlia Hawthorne. You will never defeat me. What? What did you say? 
Whether you're alive, dead, or somewhere in between, you will never defeat me. As long as I'm around, you're destined to lose for all of eternity. I remember what you said earlier in the trial. You said there was no way we could punish you because you were already dead. What about it? Then you said, even when the body dies, the spirit, the ego, it lives on forever. That's very true, Dahlia. And that's exactly the punishment you'll never be able to escape from. For all of eternity, you'll have to remain as Dahlia Hawthorne. A miserable, pathetic, weak creature who can never win anything. And for you, there's no escape from that. No hope for freedom. Since the day you were executed, the narrow bridge that once stretched out in front of you is burnt to a crisp. You... Ugh! You're wrong! It can't be! How could I lose to the likes of you? It no longer matters. I don't care whether you win or lose anymore. The only thing I want is for you to come out of Maya's body right now. <laughs> oh, holy cow. <laughs> I hope I went to the store. <laughs> oh, that actually works pretty well! Yeah, it works amazing! <laughs> I'm not ready. Not ready to go. Well, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> Magatama! Oh. I mean, this is very epic. Don't get me wrong. Maya! You're actually alive! Yay! Nick? Sis? Oh, she must be so hungry. Okay, make sure she's actually like alive, alive. Take her to the hospital, do some yeah. stuff. Now then, I assume you are the real Iris. Wait, wh wh where where'd she come from? Did she just walk where, in? Where'd she come from? Where'd, where'd she go? go? Where'd she where, come did from? Did she God just God. walk in and be like, "Hey, I'm back"? <laughs> did I miss anything? Did I miss anything? <laughs> Yes, I was just rescued from the sacred cavern. I must say, you and your twin sister are indeed identical from what I can see. It's almost like they reused the same sprites! Wow! <laughs> In any case, it appears that everything has finally been cleared up. Mr. Godot, what happened to Dahlia Hawthorne? If you ask me, your honor, it looks like she went back to the hell she came from. No, she went back to hell. She's <laughs> in hell, trust me. Hmm. It seems that Misty Fay wasn't the only victim of this crime. Maya Fey, as well as the young Pearl Fey, were also victims of this wicked and selfish plan. Yes, Your Honor. Now can we make sure Maya's alive? The tragedy of Medium Valley has finally come to an end, it seems. It would be best for everyone if no further attempt was made to channel that spirit again. <laughs> Just put up signs be like, if you're a spirit channeler, <laughs> don't, don't do channel this person. <laughs> um, Your Honor? Yes, what is it? Uh, about this whole spirit medium thing, it's almost weird how comfortable you seem to be with the concept now. Well, to be frank, my younger brother is quite judgmental. He often criticizes me for not studying hard enough. That's why I made a concerted effort to study up on the Korean channeling technique. <laughs> the judge died. Hey, isn't that the New Year's issue of O Cult Magazine? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've seen quite a few things in my many years on the bench. And in all that time, I finally learned this one thing. Each case is different, and takes place in its own world, if you will. Yeah. In order to fully understand that world, first we have to immerse ourselves in it completely. And that's where... my brother and I used to differ. Hmm. Never thought of it that way. It's cool. Okay. Maya! At any rate, it's time to pass judgment in this case of Iris of Hazakura Temple. She's passed out! Oh wait, where is she? Objection? Objection? What happened? What?! What?! Godot, shut your mouth! Nobody cares. You're a little too fast with that gavel, your honor. No. What do you mean by that, Mr. Godot? The trial. It isn't over yet. That explains why uh, they were like 50. You were like, we're going to have a few more episodes. I'm like, 
really? think we're doing it all in one. It isn't over yet, that's what he means. Wh what? Trite. Remember what Miss Evil Spirit said in her testimony. Huh? Dahlia's testimony? I caught up with her in the front of the Stone Lantern. Then I took out the dagger I got from Storm Man. They're like, Maya is still suspicious! <laughs> Strange, but I don't have a clear memory of what happened after that. I think I think I was stabbed. So they're like, Maya still could be in trouble for stabbing her mom. Yeah. Just as Dahlia Hawthorne was about to attack Maya, she was stabbed and killed by someone. Y yes, that's right. The person that was ultimately killed was the spirit medium that channeled Dahlia. Elise Donum. No, Misty Fay. Again, we don't even know why she channeled. But who killed her? We still don't know who did it. Th this isn't over?! Also, where's Maya? Probably in the hospital. Okay, but they didn't say, okay, take her to the hospital. They were just like, yeah, we'll just leave her on the floor. <laughs> Unless someone else is found guilty, the accused is still on trial. We can't let her walk until there's evidence that proves her innocence. Th no way! This is... wow. But this court isn't prepared for any further testimony. We had a third day! The prosecution is ready to call our final witness. F final witness? Who? This one will clear up the whole mystery. The mystery of who killed Misty Faye. Hmm. Indeed. Oh no. Oh no. They're gonna have Maya come back and be like, Once Maya's fully recovered, we're channeling at least Donum, and we're gonna find out. Or they could just use Pearl. Or Pearl. Is it really alright, Mr. P prosecutor? Please, baby. Call me Diego. <laughs> Please, little kitten. <laughs> of course it's all right, Madam Attorney. Madam Attorney. Very well then. Poor kitten. Who is this final witness? Ha. Huh. Isn't it obvious? There's one person who saw the whole event and will put the final dagger in this case. Ha ha ha. S someone who saw the murder take place? The very person who saw her mother killed in front of her own eyes. Y you mean... Maya?! You can't! She can't testify after what she's just been through. Godot's like, suck it up. We need to find the truth. The prosecution calls Maya Faye to the witness stand. Um, how are you doing, hon? You need a sandwich? You've been kind of trapped in some place for two days. Very well. But first, we'll take a brief recess. Yeah. We'll have to wait for Miss Faye to recover before summoning her. Okay, once so she, maybe she just passed out briefly. Once we receive the doctor's permission, we will proceed with the trial. Okay, thank you. Hey, Trite, I've got something to say to you, so listen up. Yo, what's up? What is it? I don't think much of you as a lawyer. It's always the same with you. You somehow manage to just squeak by without even a faint understanding of the case. Some beautiful woman always seems to come dashing in at the last minute to save you. Apparently Gumshoe is a beautiful woman in case three. <laughs> you, you've got some nerve! Gumshoe's not a woman! <laughs> but he, he has a point. Desiree did it in the first Master Mask case. Mia did it in the second Master Mask case. Mia did it again just now. So, I mean, he does have a point. Francisca right? came in during case two. He wasn't there for that. Uh, but that's not going to happen this time. This time, you're going to have to do this all by yourself. You're a big boy, Phoenix. That's enough. This court is now in recess. All right, Maya. Don't to be continued. Good. Cool. February 10th, 2.56 p.m. That was a weird court case. Nobody's ever, court seen, <laughs> nobody's ever seen a spirit be exor uh, like exercised. exercised before. <laughs> I'm truly sorry about everything. You were working so hard to defend me. But I was missing all day and we didn't even have a chance to talk. She's right. When I met Iris at the training hall yesterday, they had already switched places and Iris was inside the sacred cavern. Wasn't she, like, on the door, like, Hey! That's not me! It's probably soundproof. <laughs> I wanted to at least be in the defendant's box today to root you on. Well, it wasn't your fault. You were locked up this whole time. There's something more important than that, though. I have to ask you. Why did you help your sister out as much as you did? Huh? If you had tried to get help at the Sacred Cavern yesterday, you wouldn't have spent an entire day locked up in there. My sister... I felt sorry for her. She was abandoned by her own mother and never got any love from our father either. But she's so selfish and she threw me out of the house, so it doesn't matter anyway. Yes, but it was the same for you too, wasn't it? Yes, but at least I had Sister Bikini, who was like a mother to me. If 
If only Dahlia had come with me to Hasakura Temple. No, no you she was, died! She was still a crazy <laughs> psycho before that. I always... I always loved her. Dahlia was so smart and so strong, she never complained about a thing. That's why I... That's why I promised her that I would help her. Are you talking about the fake kidnapping case 11 years ago? Yes. I wanted to be useful to her in some way. I will say, like, even if your sibling's another psychopath, it is kind of, like, there is sort of that, like, weird bond mm -hmm. where it's like, you're still gonna love your sibling no matter what the heck happens. But as usual, I was too cowardly. At the last minute, I ran away. Because of that... She put her whole vengeance on life and everything. Dahlia's half-sister Valerie ended up... That was the case that wounded Mia so badly. But things didn't end there, of course. Some people suspected that my sister was involved in the murder. Some people? You must mean... Yes, two defense lawyers. Mia Fey and Diego Armando. After poisoning Mr. Armando, who was getting too close to learning the truth, Dolly even tried to kill the person who had unknowingly hid the poison for her. You. That's right. Iris, there's one more thing that I have to ask you. Yes, what is it? On the night of the murder, the person that cleaned up the corpse of the victim, Elise Donum, was it? Was it really you? Yes, it was me. That night, after I rang the lights out bell, I went back to my room. And then all of a sudden, she came crashing through the house. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> and then she flew out my window, and then I jumped down, and then... <laughs> We're still going with the, the, the cannon theory. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> At around 10.30, I received a call on my cell phone. There's a problem. Come to the inner temple right away. Who's that? Is it Von Karma? I was trying to do like the voice distortion thing. There's a problem. problem. You should have covered your face. There's a problem. Come to the inner temple right away. I, I got on the snowmobile and headed for the inner temple. But... The path to the inner temple was cut off, right? Exactly. We can't just leave the body here. Alright, let's do this as you said. Well, that would probably be what's her face then. It's probably Dahlia. You don't need to you don't need to cover her face. It was me. I was the one that received her body. Well, yeah. We already knew that. The murder weapon had been left in her body so she wouldn't bleed too much. Right, plugged on the pole. The staff that Mystic Elise always held. How'd they Oh how would that stay in as you're flying through the air? Also, this is the most elaborate, like... Cleanup ever. <laughs> cleanup ever. Alright, we're Just gonna... Just use a can! We're gonna throw her <laughs> over the bridge. Or under the bridge. It, this is, like, takes a whole new meaning to water under the bridge. <laughs> I knew it. So the actual murder weapon was the staff. Yes, that's... that's right. I brought the body back to Hazakura Temple on the snowmobile. But why? Why did you alter the body? I didn't want anyone to know that the staff was the murder weapon. I didn't want to leave anything that would lead back to Misty Fey. So I dressed her in a robe and stabbed her with the shitashito. I wiped the blood off from the staff's blade and left it next to her on the ground. Iris, just tell me one last thing. Tell me the name of the person that called your cell phone. The real killer. It was Shelly the Killer. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. I can't do it. I can't say who did it. I... I see. It's her... Victim staff updated in the court. Why record. wouldn't... Why wouldn't she say? Defend... Defend it! <laughs> sure, female bailiff. Defend it! Yes? The judge is calling you. He wants you to see you in the chambers. <laughs> he has some questions about Dahlia Hawthorne. <laughs> Your ass had changed like 20 times in the span of those sentences. <laughs> The bail is a little high. <laughs> All right. Well then, I'll see you later. There's something I wanted to tell you later. 
Oh, um, okay. Something she wants to Will tell you me? Will go out with me, senpai? <laughs> what does senpai mean? That's someone who's older than you. That's it? Yeah, it's someone oh. older than you or someone, like, a grade above you. <laughs> So if you're, like, in school, and you're 16, and then there's a girl who's, like, 14, you're her senpai. That Pretty is, simple. That's bizarre. What if they're younger than you? Is it senpai? It's kohai. Kohai. Oh. I think there's a part of the office where, like, it's like, oh, yeah, I'm taking karate. The sensei, like, has, like, appointed yeah. me assistant sensei. Like, the assistant sensei is equally as respected as the real sensei. He's, like, scrubbing the, like, floor of, like, the karate area. Yeah, sensei's teacher. Also, one thing I want to point out, because this is something I didn't pick up until, like, uh, way later. Remember how Larry, when he testified, he's like, I didn't see a s snowmobile. Yeah. And they're like, Larry, say snowmobile. Snowmobile! Larry... Almost certainly saw Iris. Oh, with absolutely. the snowmobile carrying the corpse. Oh, absolutely. And because he loves Iris, he doesn't want to mention it. I knew that. So what he did is actually kind of brilliant. Where like as soon as they're like the snowmobile, like that's really suspicious. Immediately after that, he's like, "Hey, want to see the sketch?" And like everything completely gets derailed. So yeah. He did that to save Iris, which is kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I just realized my hands are sparkly. Your eyelids are also sparkly. Yeah, but I, they're also it's all my hands. Do not get that glitter anywhere in this room. <laughs> okay. So it's true. Iris cooperated with the real killer. Maybe even from the very beginning. Phoenix. Mia. Um, how is Maya doing? Physically, I'm not worried. She'll recover completely. But emotionally, she's been hurt very badly by this case. I see. You don't mean... She's learned who Elise Donum really was. Yes, I went to the medical office and talked with her. I told her everything I knew. But why? Maya's stronger than you think. I knew she could take it. All of it. What do you mean by that? I want you to figure out- I want you to figure that answer out by yourself. The trial's about to restart. The real killer. Do you know who it is yet? Iris wouldn't tell me who called her, but still. I think that just maybe I know who it was. It can't be Maya, because Maya doesn't have her number. That night, the victim was killed in the garden of the Inner Temple. And the criminal wasn't just there by accident. It could be... Which means... Morgan Fay broke out of jail and came to the temple. And killed her sister. Yes. <laughs> and she didn't kill Maya. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the ki that the killer knew of Dahlia's plan from the very beginning. And one more thing. The victim was moved to the Hazakura Temple side by Pendulum. In other words, the criminal couldn't cross the bridge. That means that they were stuck on the inner temple side for almost an entire day. What if it's Pearl? Exactly. So the criminal was someone that wasn't in Hazakura Temple the following day. It's Pearl. That's as much help as I can give you. The rest of the battle is yours to win. Or lose. Okay, I've got it. Thank you, Mia. It's gotta be Pearl. Because Pearl had, like, five psych locks, and she was just, like, running off constantly, being super nervous. She was like, oh, But we I'm broke so the sorry. five. It could be. Because, it was a different five. <laughs> no, it's a different five. Because she was there, she said all the things that she did, but I know she was like, I hurt Maya, and there were all these things, and, like, she just looked very on... Distraught. Yeah. We'll oh, say that. Boy. I hope it's... Finally, it's almost time to bring this case to an end. What exactly did Maya see anyway? And who was it that actually killed Misty Fay? Probably Pearl. Whoever it was, I have to prove it. Me. All by myself. It's Zuko alone again! Again. Rise from the ashes again. Zuko alone. So I know that was a long episode, people, but you can kind of see why I couldn't really split it up. Yeah, no, I see that. So, Especially, ugh. Thanks. I can't believe it's not done after all that screaming I had to do. <laughs> That this could be where we did it. Leave it for the day, though, if you want. Uh, you probably don't want to wear your voice out. I mean, I feel good right now. This is the part. The rest of the case we have to record basically in one sitting. In one sitting, okay. Because well, it's gonna be like for sure. Oh yeah, we will. Thanks for watching, everyone. Tune in next time for the final recording session. Might be. It's probably gonna be more than one episode. Yeah, it'll probably be. Because we still have, we're but still I not say, done. I say we're that like I know. Done. I don't know what's yeah, gonna happen. Yeah, I know. There's, we have three hours of the case No, left. no, <laughs> that's mine. No, no, it's me. Anyhow, thanks for watching, everyone. Until we meet again, my friends. Have a great day, and God bless.